it is vlogmas day 16 so we will light our advent candle as we always do so today i thought i would do my oh, january scrabble tbr game it may be a little early in the month of December to be doing that but as you know I haven't got a lot of patience and I get really excited about things and this month is called Scrabble and Scrabble Twin and the lovely Kaz from the booktube channel Cats and Camera has chosen my four books for me and um, she is somebody else who sometimes uses Scrabble to select her books so that's why it's called Scrabble and Scrabble Twin so I'd like to thank Kaz in advance for picking her four books We'll do the usual, I'll pick the Scrabble tiles out, I'll pick eight, then I'll show you what Kaz has picked and then I'll give you four to choose from a um, Twitter poll. I've sat here because the ones that Kaz has picked, three of them are in my snowman and my Santa and I've only just realised that so uh, we'll point them out in a minute. Um, so let's pick, oh sorry, the lighting again and I want to be here because I want to show you them in the snowman and the Santa. I hope that's going to be okay. It's when I move, it's like the camera's trying to refocus. So we'll pick the letters first. So the first letter is I. I'm trying not to move much that. Uh, the next letter, oh it's a blank so I get to pick whatever I want. C. Oh. Gosh, my fingers and thumbs today. C. I again. Oh gosh, I don't know. I've tried to pick one of each letter out in books and put them beside me so I didn't have to go and look as much, but if I pull loads of one letter out, G, then I'm going to be in trouble. T. U and the final one is J. Right, let's see what we can do. So I'll see them now. I'm trying not to move too much. I blank C I G T U J. So let's see what we can find. What did I have for I? Right, I've got one for I here. Excuse the lighting, it's probably gonna go a bit. Oh, so for the first one, I'm going to move that candle. The first one for I, let's try and get it back refocused. There you go. Is it started with a secret by Jill Manso. This is one that Andy's mum chose me when we first went into lockdown as a treat. Um, basically says, Lainey has just lost everything. Luckily, one little fib, okay, quite a big fig, fib, helps nail her dream job. Soon she's living in a stunning house by the sea in Cornwall, fending off, off obsessed fans for a retired, if far from retiring, actor and organising his charming but chaotic family. It's definitely worth the challenge of keeping her secret. At least Lainey isn't looking for love, it's time for a break from all that, and yet Seth, the actor's grandson, really is rather attractive. There's growing chemistry and a definite connection between them, but how would he react if he knew she hadn't been honest with him? Lainey's not the only one with a secret, though. Seth has one of his own, and everything's about to start unravelling. So I'm going to use that for my first eye. I'm really not sure if I've got anything else for eye, but I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, for C, what does I have for C? Did I have anything? Oh, yeah. For C, I am going for The Christmas Saurus by Tom Fletcher. It's January, so I'm going to try and read it early January, so it still feels like it's near Christmas. This was picked from, uh, gifted to me by the lovely Becca from, uh, is her channel just Becca Fowl? I think so. I've talked about her enough, um, and I'll link her channel below. Um, she gifted me this before Christmas. And I wanted to fit it into my TBR, but none of the letters came out for it. And I said if I could squash any more in, but I'm really not. I'm going to end up under reading in December. So I'm going to try and fit it into January. So that is for C. Uh, G. What can I do for G? Right. This one is Popkin and Stubbs Ghost Catcher. But I can only read this one if I get round to reading Pelican City for December. So I'm going to have to try and squash that in by the end of the month. Uh, yeah, 
So if I don't read that, then I can't read this for G and I'm going to have to pick another G. But let's be hopeful and let's go with that one. So that is another um, where Lil Popkin and Ned Stubbs um, go into another investigation. I'm not going to say any more because it'll spoil the others. So that is G. Uh, T. What did I have for T? Oh, this darkness mine. Oh, sorry, the lighting again because I've moved. This darkness mine, this is for the Sisters of Approximately Book Club, but I don't know which month it is. So I'm hoping that it will fit in, or at least I can go back and watch the live show after I've read it. It says, Sasha Stone knows her place, first chair clarinet, top of her class, and the side of her Oxford wearing, and at the side of her Oxford wearing boyfriend. She worked her entire life to ensure a path to Oberlin Conservatory as a star musician is perfectly paved. Then Sasha discovers her by the book life began by ending the chapter of another's, the twin sister she absorbed in the womb. It's that that doesn't explain the gaps of missing time in her practice schedule or the memory she has of things she certainly never did with Isaac Harbour, a boy she's never given the time of day before. But Isaac's acting like they know one another intimately and her skin misses his touch. And with the knowledge that her heart might not be hers alone, Sasha must decide what she's willing to do and who she's willing to hurt to take it back before things we send her out of her control. So it sounds a bit creepy, but I'm going to give it a go. So that is for T. U. Did I have a U? I don't know if I did. Did I have a U? Oh, right, I'm cheating with this. Oh, sorry, the light is it. Is it going? Am I? Right, U. I'm cheating a bit because I couldn't find a U, but the uncommon is... It's actually called The Smoking Hourglass, but this is the second in the Uncommoners series. And because it's the Uncommoners, I'm going for it, because otherwise I could be forever looking for a book beginning with you. So, um, yeah, it's Jennifer Bell again. I enjoyed this Crooked Sixpence when I read it for Middle Grade Monthly. So I'm going to carry on with the series as soon as I can. As you saw from my series uh, video for Vlogmas, I've got a lot of ground to cover with series. So let's try and get this one read quite soon after the first one, which would be good. And then Jay... I found this one. It's not got the book cover on anymore because during lockdown, the butchers at the end of my road just put a little bookshelf outside and said, bring books and take books. And so I put a lot on there and then found this one. But the book cover was really horrible on it. So I took it off and actually the book is fine. Um, it's The Joy of Big Knickers by Kate Garraway. So it's a non-fiction and she covers different parts of life. So let's see. Um... The Facelift Dilemma, Tricks and Trades, Smokes and Mirrors, The Trouble with Sugar, Get Off That Sofa, Slaying the Menopause, Sex and Swinging from the Chandeliers, Winking It, Money, 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 Popping Your Clogs and Finding Your Sparkle. So I think it's talking about women around the ages of like 40 or 50. But I'm a woman, I'm 33, all of this stuff is yet to come. I'm sure I'll find it funny and um, there's some nice pictures in there. Um, so yeah, I think Kate Garraway is quite an interesting character. I felt very sorry for her during this period of time because I know her husband Derek has been really poorly with um, coronavirus to the point where I think he was in a coma and he was put into a coma and he still hasn't come out of it. I don't know where he's up to right now, but I'm sending him all the hope and prayers um, that he gets better and she's done so well because she's gone back to a job. She's got a family, hasn't she? So... Um, she's had to, but she's gone back to her job while all this is going on with her husband. So yeah, The Joy of Big Nick is by Kate Garraway. So I'm going to pause you now and I'm going to go and try and find another eye. And then I'm going to decide which book I want to read with the blank space. So bear with me. Right, I've done it. I'm going for In the Heart of the Garden by Leah Fleming. This is one that my mum passed on to me, I think. Um, Iris Bagshot is taking her even stroll through the ancient gardens of Freddie's Peace Cottage. The house has been in her family for centuries, but at 85, the time has come to sell her land and downsize. As Iris meanders among the roses past the kitchen garden to the boundary wall beyond, the past unfolds around her. Generations of women attended this garden, seeking refuge and solace through years of war and hardship. And as she walks through this ancient plot, their voices, their stories are stirred. So that's the other eye. And then for the blank space, I have decided to go with Adele of a Life, Lessons I've Learned, David Jason. Um, as you remember, I've bought this for my dad for his birthday, which is on Friday. 
So I do want to buddy read it with him. He doesn't know he's getting it. This is a library copy for me. Um, I'm hoping that we can uh, read it together. So that is my blank space. So they are all the ones, let's let it refocus again. These are all the ones that I'm picking from our Scrabble letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. Then let's talk about Kaz's treases. So she has chose oh, uh, Dear Martin by Nick Stone. That's there. Uh, she chose this one because she said it looks great and she would love to hear my thoughts. I gifted Kaz this oh, sometime this year, um, so it would be nice to chat about it now because I bought my own copy because she picked it. So um, there's that one. Only Mostly Devastated. I think she must have watched my Kindle, all of the books that I have on my Kindle video because she's chose that one. She's picked that one, she said, because it's a gay Greece retelling and that it sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that one. And there's one gone off my Kindle if I read that one. Uh, the next one is Half a World Away by Mike Gale. Uh, she said she picked this one because the typography on the spine really caught her eye. Um, and and that's the kind of thing she looks out for. In And in the pictures she sent, that stood out to her. So uh, she's, she said she's a sucker for typography. So there's that one. And then, because she, she sent me three, and then I said, you do realise you can pick four? And she said, oh, right, okay. So she's picked Patrick Swayze, The Time of My Life. I've had this on my pile for years and years and years. Because I couldn't bring myself to read it after he died. Um, but it's basically Patrick Swayze telling, um, well, I don't know if his wife is telling it, or he's telling it, or she's completed it after he's died. or But it's basically telling his life story. Um so she's picked that because she said Grease and Dirty Dancing. Um, she's just a fan of both of those. Um, and so she thinks they'll be fun. So, uh, yeah. So uh, thank you, Kaz. I am so looking forward to those. A bit of Grease and Dirty Dancing will go down really well. Like I said, Dirty Dancing was out the year I was born. So uh, that's always nice. So they are her four. And then for your four, what you've got to choose from. I have gone for Featherhood by Charlie Gilmore. This is the one about um, a couple who rescue an injured magpie and then it decides to stay around because it doesn't want to leave them. So there's that one. There's the Bromance Book Club uh, by Lisa K. Adams. I've been dying to read this one and I just keep not getting around to it. So there's that one. The Seven Kinds of People You Ent you find in bookshops by Sean Blyfull. I've read both of his um, Confessions of a Bookseller and Diary of a Bookseller and loved them both. And I'm thinking the seven people that you meet in bookshops will also be the seven kinds of people you meet in libraries as well. And as you know, I work in a library, so there's that one. And then is Heartstoppers Volume 1 because I've only read one graphic novel so far and I wasn't impressed with that. I read Pumpkin Heads and I wasn't a fan. So people have recommended the Heartstopper series. So if I get you guys to maybe pick this one, it might get me started on them. I've got all three volumes waiting from the library. So uh, yeah, they're your four to choose from. I will put the poll up as soon as this video goes live and you can choose from those. So thank you for watching. There's another 13 books to get on with uh, in January and let's hope I can do better than I am doing currently in December. So this was Vlogmas Day 16 and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17. Bye.